Try not to be so hot-headed, even when the heat is turning up here. Hey everybody, what's up? It's your boy, Vitamin M, coming at you with another episode of Pokemon Silver here. In the last episode, we defeated Sabrina in Saffron City, and here we are at the Seafoam Isles, or what's kind of left of at least one of them. And we're going to be fighting Blaine, because apparently this is his gym. So let's go check it out. And there's no other trainers. This is pretty nice. Awesome. All right, so we can just go ahead and talk to him and see what happens. Wah! I have my gym and Cinnabar burned down. My fire-breathing Pokemon and I are homeless because of the volcano. Wah! <laughs> but I'm back in business as a gym leader here in this cave. If you can beat me, I'll give you a badge. Ha! You better have Burn Heal! <laughs> of course he doesn't stop with that whole joke. But this is Blaine right here, the seventh of the gym leaders in Jota or er, Kanto, totally forgot where we were. And let's do this. He's gonna be starting off with Macargo. Pretty bad choice if I do say so. Fire Rock type, level 45, with the moves Curse, Smog, Flamethrower, and Rock Slide. If you've got a ground or a water type, go for it right here. This thing has a quad weakness to both of those things, which is just uh, oh, such a bad Pokemon. So slow. You're gonna be going first before this thing. I'm just using Ampharos right here because I do want to give him some EXP. But anyways, who's next? He's got Magmar, okay. I would not be surprised that he has Magmar, especially from the anime. Magmar, level 45, pure fire type, Thunder Punch, Fire Punch, Sunny Day, and Confuse Ray. So, as you would imagine, he's going to be trying to lay down a Sunny Day to up his fire attacks, and he's got Thunder Punch to cover his weaknesses. Confuse Ray can throw you for a loop, but... Gosh, you guys already know my thoughts on Magmar. Magmar is an excellent Pokemon, period. And it's for good reason that he's got one. So I'm going to try to use this against him right here. And this shouldn't be too bad whatsoever. Alright. Okay, this is going pretty easy right here. And his last Pokemon, the Annie is finally getting up. Rapidash. Okay. You know, we're going to go for a clean sweep again right here. Rapidash, level 50, pure fire type, quick attack, fire spin, fury attack, and fire blast. A fire blast coming from this thing, even though it's not a special attacker, is pretty devastating. And, okay, it missed, good. Maybe I should have used light screen, but I'm just going to try to chip it down and just try to take it out here. Oh, man. And we got the sun out, too, so that makes it even stronger right here. So hopefully, okay, it's going to go max potion. Okay. All right, well, hopefully we can at least paralyze her get a, get a critical hit right here. Do not take this thing lightly. This thing can ruin your day. It is... N Speak of the devil. Got him! Oh man, that's too easy. Alright, so that was Blaine. No burn heal needed. Awesome, I'm burnt out. You earned Volcano Badge. Man, that was it. I never received the Volcano Badge. Alright. Even though the Volcano took away his house. <laughs> his whole gym. His whole island. <laughs> I did lose this time, but I'm going to win the next time. When I rebuild my Cinnabar Gym, we'll have to have a rematch. You know, that'd be pretty fun. That would be pretty fun. But there's this other guy right here. I wonder what he's doing. Yo! Huh? It's over already. Sorry, dude. Cinnabar Gym was gone, so I didn't know where to find you. But hey, you're playing strong even without my advice. I knew you'd win. <laughs> well, that's the trainer tips guy. Before fighting him. So... That is Blaine right there. Not a hard fight whatsoever. But we have pretty much got only one more gym badge to go get. And that is over in Viridian City. I could have... I really thought that we needed all seven in order to talk to Blue there at Cinnabar. And then he would go away. But, you know, oh well. Strange. Huh, but here he is now, even though we didn't have to beat Blaine, so okay. I must be thinking of the remix, though. Um, but I know they really expanded his gym in Heart, Gold, and Soul, Silver, which was really nice. But it's still found in the Seafoam Isles. So, that's still, some okay. <laughs> that's still something to consider. But, oh man, back here in Viridian City. I'm on the road to Viridian City! Oh... We're going to be taking on the last gym right here in the next episode. So like, comment, subscribe. Wait just a minute. That's not the end of the episode right here. JK. But, um, 
Yeah, we got the legendary beast right here. I found Entei right here. Just going back, Johto. I would be remiss if I did not at least go over this within this let's play. Um, I don't think I'm going to be catching all three of them here, but I'll at least show off this mechanic a little bit. They are roaming legendaries, Raikou, Entei, and Suicune. All fantastic Pokemon. Very versatile, different things. My personal favorite is Suicune. My brother really likes Raikou, and Entei is a really good choice, period. So, they'll be roaming around the map, and you kind of have to find them. And you cannot find them unless you have found them once, and you have to use your Pokédex in order to find where exactly they are, and they move very quickly. They are very annoying. If they're given the chance to, on their turn, they will flee, so you will have to use Mean Look or something like that. Any status conditions you put on it <clears throat> will go away after the next time you fight them, so if you paralyze one of them, they will not have that next time you fight them. If you freeze them or put them to sleep, they will not be able to escape, which is pretty handy. But the big thing in this game that is different is if you do accidentally kill them, they do not come back, even after you beat the Elite Four or anything you do, period. So that is something you really do want to keep in mind right here. When it comes to these three, Pokemon Silver right here, you have to catch all three. That's the same with Gold uh, while they're roaming. But in Pokemon Crystal, you have to catch at least just two of them, Raikou and Entei. And Suicune is given to you for free, essentially. It's a normal battle. Um, when it comes down to these three, Raikou is an excellent electric type. It is one of the best. It's a little bit slower than Jolteon for just a little bit of a comparison, but it packs more of a punch. It's a fantastic Pokemon, period. My brother really likes it for a good reason. Uh, Entei is very different. Its highest stats are HP and attack. Very strange for a fire type, but it is a very good Pokemon, and given your limited fire type options, I say if you can get it, I highly suggest you use it. Entei is actually very good. Comes with some great moves. F flamethrower, Fire Blast, Stomp, some different things. Um, and then finally is Suicune, the favorite of the three to me. Or my f I don't know why I said it that way, but uh, Suicune is a great water type. It's a definition of a bulky water type. It will stand up to things, period, and it can hit pretty hard with its moves. Uh, I don't know if it gets Mirror Coat in this game, which it's really good at using, but you can teach it Surf and some different things. It can be a good support Pokemon. I just really like how it looks in this game. Plus, side note, Suicune in this game, his sprite is actually wrong. The diamond-looking thing on the top of his head is purple when it should actually be blue, which I always thought was pretty funny. But, anyways, right here, we'll see what we can do against Entei right here. I may go back and catch these guys eventually, but... I have no idea, I just, these things are such a pain that I thought I would just find one and explain how it works to you guys. But anyways, right here, if you still have that Master Ball, this is what you really should be saving it for. At least one of these three or the two, depending on what, ver which version you're playing, uh, or playing on. If you can find one of these things and put it on your team, go for it. It is, it's some of the best of their types you're going to find, period. Um, when it comes to a water type, Basically, your best other choice is Lapras, and Lapras is going to be more realistic. Comes to a fire type, Magmar Typhlosion is pretty much on par with Entei, and then Raikou. Um, it just depends on what you want. I prefer Ampharos because it's definitely more <laughs> easier to get, but um, yeah, so they're great Pokemon, period. <sighs> but these are the Pokemon that you do want to use your Master Ball on, period. So that is something you want to be aware of. And. I think... <sighs> Do I want to use it on Entei, though? Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. You know, I've never caught one of these. I'm going to go for it. And there you have it. If you haven't used your Master Ball and you get it towards the end of the game, they're all level 40. So as I've been stressing to you guys, you really do want to consider this period. I've actually never caught one of these um, in this game, period. I've really only been familiar with these guys because of Pokemon Coliseum. Um, especially Entei. He's fantastic in that game. So is Suicune. But that is Entei right there. Pretty darn neat and pretty cool if I do say so myself. So, with that being said... That's going to be the end of the episode right there. Really three for a cliffhanger, so... Oh, man. Editing's going to be fun. But anyways, that's all for today. So, that in mind, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode. Vitamin M, I'm out, dudes.